It's a different cooking show. It's a different cooking show. Hey, you guys, welcome back to another episode of We Gonna Eat TV. I know we've been gone for a minute, but we're back. Right now, we're driving downtown in the Fashion District. We are getting ready for the holidays, so we're buying more of our merch that we're gonna be selling on our website. So that's what we're doing right now. But in a minute, we're gonna be making some French bread pizza, some supreme French bread pizza. So stay tuned. this but today we're about to make a another french bread pizza but this time it's gonna be a supreme french bread pizza it's gonna be bigger more toppings it's gonna be better so stay tuned this is podcast and a pizza or pizza and a podcast shout out to the patreons too man for hanging on <laughs> for sure for sure for hanging on um, it's got a few of y'all I holler at on Instagram, so you know, good looking out on, on rocking with us. You dig what I'm talking about? So this one right here. Hey, this is for you. Yo, we back again. Hey, we gonna have multiples sometimes because this is real life for us. You know what I'm talking about? We really eating our food and preparing and doing all kinds of stuff. Get these hands washed. Bam, took the jewelry off. We gonna get to it. Uh, today we are making our famous French bread pizza. You dig what I'm talking about? And for us, it's only two. So, it's real simple. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to get it together. We got the ingredients here. What we're going to be using. You know yeah, what I'm talking you about? guys, and some of you may not have been with us back then when we made it the first time. But we're going to make it again. Yeah. But we're going to make it a little different this time. You did everything that we y'all see. So it's see gonna it. be a supreme pizza, and as you guys know, we've gone out to that pizza place and picked up some supreme pizzas, and we told you guys we liked it. You and know, nice, things. nice. We gonna, it's gonna be, they gonna be well enjoyable. You dig? You see how how thick this bread yeah. is? About to get into this, so hang tight, hang tight with us. You know what I'm saying? We'll be right back with a uh, at home pepperoni pizza made with nothing but love from Coop and Black Girl. We gonna eat, you dig? You guys, um, we have a little more. We have some mushroom and some uh, veggies that we didn't put on camera, but we also have those. So we're gonna start with our spread that we're gonna toast our French bread with before we put it in the egg. Before we go any further, okay? So we're going to start with a little bit of melted butter. So I'm going to just cut a little butter off of here, put it in my bowl, and then melt it, and I'll be back. I'm going to uh, crush some garlic, and I'm going to try to chop it as small as possible, and I'm going to put it in this spread mixture. <laughs> ah, you guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> If this is called food porn, no. okay? So, just chop it as good as I can. I'm not that concerned about this because you don't have to do this part. I probably had some pre-crushed garlic in the previous one, but this one is different. My butter. Put my garlic in my butter, so now I have garlic butter. All right, so now we have some olive oil, and we're going to mix this with our butter, and we're freestyling. Mix this up so we can put it on our bread. This bread has some slices in it to where it's kind of cutting deep into the bread, so it's like... How are our two pizzas going to be? So let me cut this in half and we'll see. Okay, so I'm starting to cut the bread. 
just to see how is this gonna be? How is this gonna be? I never get it quite right. But this is good enough. This is good enough. So this is our French bread here. Okay, this is our French bread. I have some parsley flakes here. I'm gonna put a little parsley flakes in my in my garlic butter. Okay. Now I'm gonna base my bread with my sauce, my butter sauce. Garlic butter sauce, homemade. Try to get some of that garlic. Same with this side. We're gonna be careful at first. When we get to the end, we'll be careless. Make sure we have enough. Well, we have just enough. So, from this point, this is a nice loaf of French bread from the bakery department at Ralph's. If you're here in Southern California, Ralph's, if you're in the South or somewhere else, Kroger. But that's all this is here. So we're going to put this in our oven and toast it. We have both of our pieces of bread on the oven dish and we're going to actually broil this. Put it on broil and let it toast. Allow it to toast. And then we'll spread our marinara sauce and start topping our pizza. And now we're going to shred our mozzarella cheese. We have a little block of mozzarella cheese. And we're going to shred it. In our previous video, you'll notice if you haven't seen it already when you go over there you'll notice we use pre shredded tillamook cheese tillamook is really good cheese especially even the shredded cheese because it's thick shredded but anyway we try to grate all our cheese ourselves now um because we do notice the difference that's for sure takes a little work but the end product is always better with freshly grated, shredded, whatever you want to call it, cheese. Oh yeah, look at that. The garlic on it's nice and hot. Be careful, make sure you got your mitts. Y'all yes, see the mitts, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna set this here. We're gonna let this cool down just a second, y'all, because it's yeah. hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh out the oven. Your mozzarella cheese. We got our salami, salami. yeah, pepperoni, ah. mm -hmm. and a little provolone over a there. A little provolone, you know what I'm talking about? You got your black olives ready to go on. You dig what I'm talking about? And then, as I mentioned before, we have some red onion, and we have bell pepper, and we have mushroom. Yeah. And if you are that great in the kitchen, you can make your own marinara sauce. Right. We're not doing I, yeah. all that. However you want to do it, you know what I'm talking about? We just spit a spatter. You know what I'm talking about? Lay it up in there real good. Bam, and bam. as I said before, I like a lot of sauce on mine, but you could put it to your A lot liking. of sauce on mine too, both of them. We do everything damn near the same. Yeah. We've been kicking and scratching for a long time together, so. We will start with. Sprinkle me, baby. Sprinkle me, baby. Sprinkle me, baby. We got some E-40 on this. We, we, we on some E-40 right now. Hopefully y'all know who E-40 is. You know what I'm talking about? We're we'll gonna sprinkle. Start with some of our cheese, but yeah. then let's put some of this provolone too. Yeah, yeah. Put some of that provolone. We're gonna break the provolone up. You know, it comes in circles, but you know, do how you want to do it. You can just could have laid that on there, but we're gonna break it off. Yeah, you know what I'm talking we about? want to distribute our cheese. And That's why gonna, we broke it and up. We're gonna put some more. It, it just ain't gonna be salami on top and all right. that it's gonna have some cheese on top yeah. of the salami it's gonna be baked in yes you know how we do it because you know you've seen do us it. do it before mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna all right all right all right yeah look at that look at that Put look at that of the provolone mm-hmm okay uh, where are them vegetables at Oh, can let you, me get the vegetables. Let me get the can vegetables. Can you open it up and um, let me get the vegetables. Let me get the vegetables. We have a little bell pepper. We're not gonna put a lot. You know, it's like a supreme edema. 
your own this this right here this time yeah. you know what i'm talking about and we also have some red onions we got some that red accidentally onions. jumped on there yeah yeah on its own you know what i'm talking about we're gonna make this good then we're gonna sprinkle some cheese on top of this all right all right all right okay so now y'all look at that don't that look beautiful it, it ain't even done yet we got these olives we're gonna toss these olives up on there and then we're gonna put some of this cheese on top of all this right here right we ain't gonna leave this on top like some people do when they cook it on no, nah, we're gonna throw some cheese on top of that, right? But we got some, we got some extra too. We gonna, it, it can't be supreme without mushrooms. It can't be a supreme without mushrooms. Where the mushrooms at, black girl? You ain't gotta go to oh, somebody trying to interrupt our, mo our motion right now. You ain't gotta go to Pizza Hut. You ain't gotta go to Domino's. You dig what I'm talking about? We ain't going to none of that. Even though I do like Numero Uno, but it ain't like they used to be. We doing this at home. You know what I'm talking about? The We Gonna Eat house. We needed more cheese, so I went and got another little block of cheese and okay. I'm just gonna grate it directly over oh, the- Oh, that's right. All right, all right, all right! Hey, look at yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know what I'm talking about? And this is made at home with love, so you can use your hands, spread some of that cheese out if you don't get, if it just get in the middle right now, right. you know, because you're using that cheese grater, spread that I ain't gonna lie to y'all, the, the fridge is tripping. Fridge problems. Yeah, fridge is freezing when it ain't, shouldn't be freezing, not, not at the, refrigerator part now we got a freezer for that the freezer yeah. is supposed to freeze not the refrigerator and as we mentioned to you guys if you listen to our podcast we said the weather was getting cooler and when the weather got cooler our refrigerator decided to get cooler too yeah man you and know ruin our vegetables freeze our shit up i'm telling you the devil's alive man right. always trying to come in and mix in our mix man you know what i'm talking about but that's okay. Don't yeah, trip off of me. I already told y'all. We're on our way to the store in the morning to get us some more veggies. We all right. Sometimes we got issues, but we, we handle it all right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So is that enough cheese for you? That's enough cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. We go. Okay. So now we're going to place this in our oven. In the meantime, here's our salad that we're eating with the pizza. Okay. A nice, a nice, spring salad with cherry tomatoes. So for our little Saturday night meal, as we get more into our holiday spirit, this is what we're eating. Yeah, his and hers pizza. You dig what I'm talking about? Made with nothing but love. Look at that. Look at that. Zoom in a little closer, baby. Look at that. You know when you go to get them pieces, they always don't be like the last piece of that you got. You know what I'm saying? And then we have our nice, healthy salad here. Yeah. Try to get your greenery Look at in. that! So what is your favorite uh, Thanksgiving dish? Speaking of Thanksgiving, what's your favorite thing Look, to check eat for Thanksgiving? Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I can just eat potato salad some dressing with a roll and some cranberry, some cran, so what do they call that? Cranberry, cranberry sauce? Cranberry sauce. And some cranberry sauce, for real. I could just eat that and be on, oh, oh, and, if, and if you got some yeah. mac and cheese, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? And, yeah. and I can have a small little plate, I can be good. Yeah, yeah, I could do that too. My favorite, is some bomb potato salad though. I, I love potato salad, yeah. especially at Thanksgiving time with the other things that go with it. Yeah, you know what, and you're the one potato who put salad. me on. I had never eaten potato salad with my Thanksgiving meal before Whoa. I met you. I had, I never Whoa. had. <laughs> so yeah, Whoa. I feel the same way about potato salad 
with your Thanksgiving food. Now I can't imagine my Thanksgiving without potato salad. It's just something about it. that mix of the potato salad and the dressing. Oh man, you gotta have it. All on one yeah, you might catch pork. some yams up in there with that yeah. mixture. Mm -hmm. Ooh. With so the good. sweet, oh man, I'm telling you, yeah. man, the potato salad, that's but, what's happening. Okay, well, mine is dressing. My favorite part. That's my, my number two, though. That's my number two. You see dressing. my little plate I could put together, right? Yeah. Yeah. And for like sure. I said, this year, I'm going to try a homemade cornbread dressing all from scratch. Now, just think right now while you're on the mic. <laughs> Okay. A scoop of dressing with that potato salad, just yes. right. Can you taste it? I can taste it. Oh uh, boy, we gonna so we eat. Can eat it sooner. Uh, you know, we gonna get out there <laughs> on the exercise because we know what we gotta do to keep you know, woo -woo -woo -woo, you know. But man, the taste buds get to going, hey, man. We don't do this all the time. This is one day out of the year that we're gonna eat all yeah. these carbs together like this. Whoa. But it's just maybe one or two days because we are going to have some leftovers. Yeah. Hey, look, we don't do the long leftovers no more. You know, <laughs> no, you come no, from no. the family, y'all might have that yeah. shit for a whole week. Right. After no, it's two just two days. Two days. We're done. Yeah, two days and it's, it's, it's on to the Seems next. Seems like we don't even get turkey sandwiches anymore. What's yeah. up with that? No shit. I don't know. This shit. Remember, turkey sandwiches used to it's be changing. So good with the leftover turkey. Make, yeah. make a bomb turkey sandwich. But you know what? One day I did make some. Uh, you know how the chicken salad sandwiches or chicken salad with crackers or right. chicken salad with a croissant. Yeah. I made turkey salad and it was really good. Oh yeah, with I think leftover yeah, turkey. I know that was. I can I can vaguely remember, but I know it was good though. Yeah. So anyway. All right. All right. So look, check this out though. While we living and we moving and everything, this we, let's let's get into the trippy shit that's going on, right? Because we do still pay attention to the news and what's going on on that level that I think most of us need to be on, right? We don't need to be on no 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 funny duddy, no stupid BS, but we gotta watch out what's happening in the world that we living in, right? 